Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 18. In this segment, we're gonna be uh, driving more cars, gonna do the one make races. Which is, well, one make races. We have two of them to do here in the beginner section. We have the Prius Cup and the 86 vs. BRC Vestival. Since these are single race things, I'm just going to uh, pretty much include all the one make races in one thing, so in case you're wondering. Yeah. So, I had to buy my own cars for this, so I went ahead and already did that. I bought the, uh, the 09 Prius G for this one, so let's do it. Two soup, uh, Subaru, wow, no, two fucking, uh, Silverstone, that's the name of the track, holy shit. Anyways. Fucking, yeah, Subaru. No. Silverstone. 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 National. Alright, we got that out of the way. Hey, everyone else is using the exact same car. Ooh. Alright, so, um, interesting, interesting thing to note here. This is a 10 car field as opposed to 6. We actually got more than fucking 6 cars for once. Which is cool. So let's go. Drive these Priuses for three laps around Silverstone National. And since it is Prius and hybrid car, only one gear. Drive. And we are going wide already. All right. Oh, we uh, I already got one car. Good thing I chose the 09G because that's what. Everyone else is using. I done fucked up. It kind of doesn't help that I'm using comfort mediums. Because holy shit. I'm using comfort mediums. Not even comfort soft, comfort medium. Using like the super shitty tires, not the shittiest, because there's the comfort hard still, but yeah. Girl pants, hey torrent. Okay. Up to eighth place after one lap. Good deal, maybe, I guess. Not really. But, you know, there's the GT rubber banding. Nine and a half seconds behind. It's only gonna get smaller from here, as long as I stay on the track. That'd be a good idea to stay on the track, yes? Yes. Hey, NFS trial, what is that? Beta of the, uh... PC version? Or something to it? I should slipstream. Slipstream is a good. Is a good. Okay, down to seven seconds. Hard on the brakes. Excuse me, Bert <laughs> Burton. We have Bert me, Burton, and then Burton. We have Bender leading the race with his hookers and or blackjack and hookers. Alright, let's get around Pelton in. Whoop. There we go. Round Pelton in. As we begin the final lap, four seconds behind Bender. And Schreiber, because they're right on each other's asses. Or Schreiber's right on Bender's ass, I should say. Anyways, let's get the fuckers. My Prius is best Prius because blow, I'm going wide. Took that a little wide, just just a skosh. Bite, yeah, bite my shiny metal ass. Anyways. 
A break for the lead. That weight transfer, though. Oh, making the tires cry. Still making the tires cry, and we're going very wide here. But we're in good shape. So to the finish line, we go suction. Oh god, where am I going? I don't know. There we go, we win our first one make race. Huzzar. Yeah, see your cam, had to do that. Hey, and I was the only one to finish under four minutes. Personal victory. Oh, we had two nins in this race. We had Peltonin and Helmanin. So many nins, oh my god. Also our first uh, over six car field. For the LP, which is cool. So there's our first one make race down. Let's move on to the next one. As soon as it loads. So like I said, load times are pretty quick in this game, which is good. So the 86 versus BRZ Festival. So this is changing to the uh, Subaru BRZ. It's pretty much a uh, contest against the um, which version of the same exact car is better. The 86, the FRS, or the uh, BRZ. And we're going to Fuji Speedway. Hey! First time going to Fuji in this game, which is cool. So there we go. Actually, I should have got the FRS since I think this is going to be all BRZs and 86s. Yeah, should have got the FRS. Oh well. Oh well. What can you do? Hey, another 10 car field. So, here we fucking go. So let's do this shit. Three laps around Fuji, and that was a quick little uh, rolling start there. Off we go. Still love how the same exact car is like across three manufacturers or whatever. Uh, excuse me, McFadden. More like McFat ass. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it makes me sad as well that the old Fujis not in this game anymore. Or not yeah, not in this game. Anymore would imply they were they were at one point. They weren't. At least I don't think they are. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, because he's American, yeah, exactly. McFadden's American, therefore fat ass, haha. -ha. How can I drive this point of view? You get used to it. I used to, uh... I used to not be able to, like, drive with this view in any game whatsoever. But then one day, I was, uh, thinking, like, I need to give my viewers something more to look at than just the fucking bumper cam. Damn torrent. But, uh, I need to look at some you know, give the viewers something more to look at than just the bumper cam. I want them to see the car I'm driving. So, in the middle of GT4 and Forza 1 LP, because I was doing those two simultaneously, um, I decided to just randomly switch to this camera and learn how to drive, like, right then and there with this camera, and I just kind of did. And I adapted it to when I eventually got a wheel, and yeah, that's the story of that. I should slipstream. That'd be a good idea. But I used to always use bumper cam or hood cam or interior cam, but never this third person camera. Honestly, it didn't take me long to get used to it. I like it now because I get to look at the cars I drive. Oh, this is gonna suck. No fair, you guys have ABS. Oh, fuck that up. Okay, there's a reason why you don't watch my older LPs, rip.
Now I could have ABS if I turned it on, Walter, but I don't want to turn it on. I want to be hardcore, goddammit. I want to be the hardcore car man. Not only am I the only guy, cr like, insane enough to LP all the main six GT games. 100%. All gold. I also want to be epic and, you know, use no assists and shit. And no over... Well, try to not use overpowered cars. Barred core. Or change break rounds 2-1. Actually, I did used to do that in GT5, but it feels like... Th the brakes are actually a lot better in this game than compared to GT5. With brake balance and shit, and locking up. So that's good. Let's just dive underneath Landry here for second place. Pretty good, yes. Okay. Not sure if I'm close enough to Lorenzo to uh, get a slipstream off of him. I don't think I am. Now one and a half seconds, definitely not. I heard you shift into six there, Landry. All right, I'm just gonna take it easy on the brakes. They can outbreak me all they want, and I still got the advantage. Any mod on GT6? I don't know. I had never tried, nor do I care to. Every race in this game a carbon copy of Ridge Racer layout in terms of race length? No. It's just both of these want to make races worth three laps. I'll have slightly longer races as the game progresses. What is my flag? That is the... I don't know. It's not a flag. It's like the country unavailable flag, because I don't have this account set up on PSN. So, pff, fucking, I don't know. GT5 was fun for months. Yeah, I remember getting a lot of modded cars from people. They were silly. Novelty kind of wore off for me, like, instantly, but yeah. You can see how it can be fun. Yes, I land hail from the land of the gray circle. Like that flag reminds me of some oh shit. I don't know. It reminds me of something like YouTube related in a way. Oh, I know. It's like the uh the it's where like if a video doesn't have a thumbnail at all, like YouTube has those moments where it like just fails to generate a thumbnail. That's what it reminds me of. I was fucking Ah, that was like in my mind this entire time, yesterday and today, trying to remember. Just fucking shit. And now I remember. And also I win. That was a pretty easy race. Overall, ended up winning by five seconds. Nice. I like how all the uh, Toyos finished up front. Well, except for one. Hurtado uh, kind of fell back. Whoops. And McFadden exactly 26 seconds behind me. Very good. Alright, so there's the one make races down for the B class. Yes, my flag should be ISIS flag. Clearly. Hello, I am ISIS. Pleased to meet you. So, with that, one make race is complete. So all we have left to do in the National B section is the National A license. Which we will do in the next segment. So, with that, stay tuned for more GT6.